And we are back. Oh, tag. You just snapped on my foot. You snapped on my foot. How could you? You'll cut me? I said, how could you? Oh, how could I? Yes. Uh, oh, God. Welcome oh. back to the next episode of Wooten. The last time we were here, uh, we met a mysterious lady called Friday who was Southern for some reason. It worked too well with her voice. <laughs> while, uh, Ken is, uh, trying not to die. <laughs> I think I might have just made a mistake. <laughs> you could have knocked him over there. No, it's too yeah. high. Yeah, oh well. Hi, guys! Um. Ah. <laughs> I love the way he just sits there. Oh, um, in case you've been wondering, my name's John. His name's Ken. Hi. Uh, you can call me Fearless Hobo or just Hobo. And he goes by Cricket with a K. Because I'm special. Um. And, uh. Yeah, like I said in the first oh, episode, wait. we are, uh. You have to get the little cone down to him. Yeah. Which means you gotta shoot it through that dark crystal. Uh, the dark crystal. We've had some Skeksky, Skeks, uh, Skeksky, Skeksky's? Skeksy's! Skets? Yep, I can never say it. Ah! My cherries! Your cherry! It disappeared. You lost a cherry on our bat friend. How oh, geez. dare you? The bat mafia is gonna be very mad at me. Oh, but as I, as I was saying, we are starting to uh, make our own company, I guess. And we're going by Rotten Brains, so you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> and of course, YouTube. Which is where well, you're watching this right now. <laughs> Unless somebody's el somebody else is using it. If so, then they are Satan itself. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we have plans for streaming on Twitch in the future, but we'll let you guys know when that comes up. And if you guys have any suggestions for what indie games or fan games you want us to play next, uh, leave a comment. Oh no. Oh no, there's bees. Hey, look, a little bat friend in the background. Okay. Hey, um, can you come eat these bees? Yeah, you're supposed to be going for small insects. I think those bees won't hurt you because they're in love with that flower. <gasps> oh, so you gotta bring them to the flowers. Okay, so I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, go down there. Yep, yeah, attract those bees to you. Oh, now go to that flower. Oh, look at it, they're in love oh. with the flower. Smash the crap out of <laughs> like the little monster man you are. <laughs> oh crud, I can't reach this now. Oh no. Slam into the nest more and more, see. Nothing? Oh! There you go. That's what it is. You gotta grab it with the A button, remember? Yeah, there you go. Now pop up. Bam! Ha <laughs> ha! I know what I'm doing now. Uh, anyone who's watching, if you have a Twitter account, please, please, please follow uh, Grapplebug. He, ah! He's pretty funny as well as the creator of the game. Like I said in the first episode, you can't physically buy this game right now, but you can uh, support him by buying some coffee for him. I think it's three bucks. Right? Yep, it was three bucks. Uh, he has it on his Twitter account. If you can't get to his Twitter account and you want to support him, it's ko-fi.com backslash grapplebug. I think the next game we might look into playing is Cut and Run, right? Yep. Another indie game. Kind of like Katamari Damacy, except you play a guy with a pompadour cutting up stuff. But let's get back to Wu-Tan. Okay. Wu-Tan! Wu-Tan! 
I just imagine he, uh, he's now just scarred for life, and uh, seriously, love this chubby little boy. I want, I want he's a He's also statue. king. I'm still confused by this. this no, is... she was joking. She said she was a queen, so he was obviously his king. Her king. That's, that's what she was saying. Right, oh, wow. Well, I was no terrified. Yeah. Oh, where's the little bat buddy? I don't see him. Well, he went off this way, so he's probably, like, on the next thing. Also, but if we look can't at get up there. That's what I'm saying. He's got to be there. Ready? Go. All right. We're five minutes in, and you spent the first... <laughs> Yo, little guy. What you talking about? Incoming. <laughs> I love this music. I do, too. It's so great. Hey, how you traveling? <laughs> I was just exploring a bit, you know? Looking for a tree for the tree of life. Fruit Bat Fred, voiced by Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Thought I might be able to spot it if I flew up high enough. No such luck. You'd figure such a great tree of legend would be easy to find, huh? Gotta say, I'm stumped. Of course, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Here. But uh, hey, why let something like that stop me? <laughs> in case you're wondering, he had to tone down the voice because he almost died in the first episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, go smoke a big one. So, how, uh, how any. How, so, got any fruit for me? Sniff, sniff. Oh, it smells like you do. Let me have it, little guy. I need something to eat. You are stealing my food. <laughs> Yeah, thanks a bunch, little guy. Hey, was that honeycomb in there? My favorite! <laughs> well, all aboard! Oh, gosh, you're so heavy. <laughs> We're back to this, huh? Back to it? Back to the future, one might say. Say, well, I got you. You want to see another one of those statue thingies? Got another old ruin just up above this spot. Come oh, on. God, am I going to have to do another voice? Yep. Let's do some sightseeing. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's a cool little sequence that they can take you up to. and Yeah. Oh. I think he takes you up there if you have the head. Yeah. Also, we don't have the thingy. Unless he... Unless... The floppy disk is this guy's thing. Yeah, because we picked up a floppy disk, I think, in the first episode. Yeah. Alright. Interesting place, huh? There's I'm have to some that kind of. Up over here. Oh, sorry. They can scooch over. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting place, huh? There we go. Now I'm really just peeking on this mic. Interesting place, huh? Third time's the charm. I love looking at Wooten's eyes while you talk because it looks <laughs> like he might stab something. Yeah, he does. <laughs> There's a somber kind of vibe to it. It's a little severe, kind of like being in an old church or something. I don't know. Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> but hey, I'm taking off. Time, time a treasure. Wait, time... <laughs> Time to tap for me, but the, try to wait for no one. I'll catch you later, little guy. <laughs> Words, God dang, I gotta work on my routine. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not sure I'm comfortable after meeting the last one. <laughs> oh, it's the first one. <gasps> oh, dear. What? What's going on here? Oh, it's you, sir. <clears throat> Forgive me, I don't recognize. Yes, that's what I'm going with. You there, I didn't recognize you there, clad as you are in the old garb. I thought you might be traveling again. Well, uh, you, you know, uh, well, you know. Shut up in your trashy clothes. What the fuck are you doing here then? <laughs> you see, I have returned, I've just returned from the most urgent summons to Valhall. Poor Friday was in such a state when I arrived. Didn't you know, didn't you know? Well, I don't know, maybe I just spoke to her and she creeped me the jeebus out. It's like, what the heck's wrong with her nowadays? 
Apparently, you two were engaged in some silly wager. As usual, when you suddenly slumped right over in your seat. Ow! It seemed as though nothing could arouse you so deep in your slumber. Oh dear, Queen nearly took it to, took for death. I win. That's how I'm going with it. Death! Naturally, she sought my counsel. Well, I am rather the expert on such things. You know, it's really good that you're so loud. That way you can make sure I can hear you from all the way over here. Is this some plot? Some poison? She cried. Is this... It is war, then. I shall call my son to my side. My sons. Come, Lee child, said I, impossible. Though it may seem, it appears that the traveler's dream has come again. Though I must admit I wasn't totally sure of it. I like how he goes up and down. And it's just randomly, it's not even important <laughs> words. After all, it after all, Come it's on. been quite some time since go. one of us last walked the middle yard. The traveler's stream returns. A most unexpected development. But I forget myself. Many thanks for mending my vessel, sir. You chap, fat, chubby little boy. Have you any idea who restored your own? I should very much like to know. That opening scene. With the bat putting your head on it. He probably was like, oh, hey, this, thing's, this looks like this fence. Click. And then fly away. And it's like, oh. oh. I don't think they saw that. I don't think we were able to get that recorded. Ah! When you open up the game, there's a small little sequence where the bat drops a little head on you thing. Yeah, Gilbert you Godfrey away. bat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this to these poor characters. I know he's got some really, like... We're at 13 story. minutes. Come on. We're going okay, to wrap up at the end of this episode. Okay. After all, these things do require a divine touch. And all answer you save you are currently topside. Does some new mover now walk the middle yard, perhaps astray from old Sham? Yes. Screw you, that's how you say that! <laughs> Though they've currently no cause to aid us. Well, question for later. Hmm. Never fear, sir. I shall conduct a thorough inquest. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, I... That's yeah. That yeah, uh okay. Uh would no yes. Uh, skip the words, uh, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fourteen minutes in. You wouldn't have happened upon a floppy disk. See, you were right. In your travels thus far, hmm. I was writing a play. You see, ages ago. Well. An old man does need his hobbies. I was part way through the third draft. How did you have that much room on a floppy disk? <laughs> Don't you know when my ancient laptop finally kicked the bucket? Very good, parents! <laughs> and me! Without a backup? How dreadful. Guess what I found! Oh, you've got it! Oh, you've got it! 
<laughs> Sorry, I forgot to emphasize my gut there. Please, sir, may I have it? What if he just said no? <laughs> yeah. Just walks away. I'm going to break this play now. I'm going to go and sell this play to the highest bidder. No, take the stupid floppy disk. My computer doesn't even work with these anymore. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. He didn't yell anything. Since you're so kindly assisted me, it's only fair that I should return the flavor. Yes, the flavor. I shall return a flavor. Favor. Something for something. Hum. Let's see. If I have anything of value. Of value. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Would you be interested in this old charm of mine? You Strange. bet! I... I can't seem to remember what it is for! He's a golfer now. Yeah. <laughs> Though, I suppose it must be of some use. Hmm. These things usually are. Oh, that's the, I thought that was a sun marking in the wall. No, it's a gear. May it serve you well in your travel, sir. And now, I'm afraid that I must bid you adieu. There is much business in the court of Mars that demands my attention. Godspeed, sir. I'll await your safe return. Though, with my luck, you might actually make it off the island this time. Don't let the caller stray too far now. Oh, and try not to get into too much mischief while you're down there. Hmm? Do behave yourself, sir. And I think that's where we're going to end it because it's yep. a little above it. But yep. we got some cool uh, stuff today. See you guys in the next episode. Woo!